What is up everyone? How's it going? Hope you're having a good Monday so far. Now that it's a fresh new week. This is Kay with Skywolf Game Studios. Um, today I'm using a different uh, recording software, so let me know if there's any issues. Uh, I had a few complaints before that my audio was kind of weird and resolution, I don't know. I thought I would try a different recording software that I have because I was previously using Gamecaster and it's not perfect. I don't think any technology is perfect. Um, but let me know if it's any better, hopefully. Alright, so today's topic is something I see quite often. Um, when you export a model mesh from a game engine, why does it turn into triangles? Why does that happen? So I'm going to spare you all the boring mathy stuff and just give you a quick overview of why this is happening. So right now on my screen, you're seeing a Blender default cube. And unless you've deleted it, you should see this every time you boot up um, Blender. And if you look here, Let's go ahead and edit, and we see four sides, and these are all verts connected by edges, making a face. So when we look at, I'm going to switch over to Unreal Engine, and in Unreal Engine, if we look over here, let's go ahead and open this up, um, and normally just browse the asset, find the mesh. And I've opened it up right here. So if we turn on wireframe, this is going to be a little difficult to see just because of the background. Um, I'll turn off the grid. And I think it was lit. Yep. Wireframe. So if we look at this, it's all split into triangles. And the whole point of that is to render more efficiently and much faster. Um, so when you're driving along a road and you go this way and then that way, that takes much longer to get from point A to, pardon my handwriting is terrible, I'm using my mouse, <laughs> um, to point B. But, um... For engines, if you connect that much faster and you just cut through diagonal or instead of going around, it renders much faster. And that's why uh, engines render in triangles. Unless there's some new random tech that comes out, I doubt this will change. It'll always be triangles, just because it's much faster and more efficient. Alright, so let's turn that off. So, um... The best way I can explain this is on my desktop, I exported a UE5 cube. Um, if you don't know how to do this, uh, all you have to do is, we'll just use one of these. Um, browse to asset, and I'm just going to use this one as an example. And... Asset Actions, Export, and then save it on your desktop. Um, I'm just going to chuck it there. SM Cube, something like that. doesn't matter. And then just export. And then now, if we look at... I'm just going to hide that one for now, just so we don't confuse that. And if you go to import fpx and we go to our desktop and find that cube and then if you import that and you can actually kind of see it doing it already right here i'm gonna turn off the collision um let's go to materials i'm just gonna make that a little lighter Actually, let's just remove that because it's still freaking dark. Okay. 
So this time, because that's a Unreal Engine Cube, if we tab into edit mode, you can actually see right here it's doing the same thing. It's all divided into triangles. And that is intentional. So if you do this in Blender, um, converting quads, and you have good quads, um, and then you convert it to a triangle, it'll be much better and give you more control over how the triangles are cut. Because if you do like an N-Gon kind of thing, let's just show you how to do this. So if I were to um, and then search, you can just search tries. Or you can search quads, and it should be the one of the first ones. Control F, and then Control T. Uh, so, if I were to cut this strangely, like an angon, and do that, and then now I were to select the whole thing. And go control T. See how messy that is? That's bad. This is what would happen when the engine tries to convert it. Um, you'll end up with a whole mess. And your textures will look all stretched out. It'll look weird and really bad. So if you have clean topology in here for quads. And then you convert it to tries. Um. Let's just control A, mesh. Uh, yeah, let's just use quad sphere. If we drag that over, and you can see this one has a lot of quads, and they're very, very clean. Now, if we do control T, you can see how nice that looks. And if it's quads by default in here and you just export it the engine will try to convert it but if it's bad topology um, and that's generally important because if the mesh is animated like a character or something it'll that's what gives it a lot of the issues that you see in here about um, let's just let's undo that I'll just show you that it's going to convert it. Export FBX. Uh, we'll just call this Blender Quad Sphere. Close enough. Make sure it's on mesh. And then under geometry, make sure that's on face and not normal. Otherwise, you'll end up with a smooth and group error. Or you can just use the um, Blender plugin, Send to Unreal. Um, I'm just doing this because it's easier for this video to kind of walk you through all this stuff. Because uh, it can be a little confusing. Take it over here. Um, let me grab that spear that we just created. You'll see the same thing happens. Import. Show lit wireframe. You can see the same thing kind of happened. It's a little hard to see, but there's triangles instead of quads. There's one right there. See, it's split in half. And that's why that happens. Um, I hope this helps clarify some things. If there's any confusion uh, or you'd like to chat more, feel free to join my Discord and you guys have an awesome day.